Hi there, Lloyd Mercedes, speaking to you from LloydMercedes.com, who's Lloyd Mercedes and Think Personal Branding. Today, the date is 4th March 2018. Time right now is uh, 3.38. Okay, the question is, the question that I got, many people send me questions to Lloyd, LloydMercedes.com, and the question is, Lloyd, why is going out of India or settling in US or Canada or Australia worth it? Okay. Um, <clears throat> first things first, okay? If you are... An Indian and you're happy being in India then stay in India okay um, India is not bad there are many people who are doing very well in India very successful and they're happy being in India okay however however if you're the type who cannot stay in India because you're looking at a you're comparing you're comparing in terms of the passport let's say you have a white passport that is a Canadian or Australian or American passport you can travel anywhere in the world you get visa on arrival in so many countries many Gulf nations also they pay a preferentially higher salary for someone with a white passport than someone with an Indian or Asian or Pakistani or African passport. Okay, this is a fact. This is whether you like it or not. This is a fact. Okay, they they consider white education or Western education or Western people or Western lifestyle much more superior. Okay, so if you're looking at it in that way, then you should migrate. The, and there are other couple of drawbacks. For example, um, medical care in, uh, let's say, Canada, okay? Uh, Canada and some parts of, uh, say, Dublin, Ireland or uh, in London. I'm not too sure about London. But in certain foreign countries, okay, like, um, let's say, Denmark or Sweden, they, they give you unemployment benefits. In India, there is no such thing as unemployment benefits. They give you free medical treatment. I don't think there's any free medical treatment in India. They take care of the old age, uh, the old age people. I don't think anything like that exists in India um, then the education is truly recognized in world class that is in Canada which is for free I doubt anything like that is offered in India and then you also have let's say they give you skill they, they train you to and help you get a job if you don't have a job which I doubt is happening in India so I'm not trying to badmouth India, but these are the limitations that are there in India or Pakistan or Sri Lanka or any of the Asian countries. They don't offer as many benefits as you would get in a Western nation. And keep this in mind, the passport itself has a solid weightage. You can get visa on arrival on so many different countries. Um, and if you go to the Gulf, Gulf states, and you have a Western passport, you get visa on arrival, you get a higher salary, you get preferential treatment, and this is the reality of life. So that is why I recommend for people to migrate to United States, Canada, Australia. But however, keep this in mind, that doesn't mean that just because you migrate, your life is going to be easy. The majority, the majority of people who migrate at the age of 30 or 40, if they go from India, Pakistan, they go from Africa, they go to Canada, US, Australia, they only end up with uh, you know, jobs like in McDonald's or they work in, uh, they work as a sweeper or cleaner or garbage collector or, you know, all these blue collar jobs. They, they don't end up getting a white collar job. They don't get, end up getting a managerial position or a director level. So keep this in mind that even if you do migrate, you're considered as a refugee or a second class citizen. You'll never be given the respect. So just because you migrate doesn't mean your life is going to be easy. If you have to mig migrate when you're young, study in that country of your choice, get an education, a degree, a master's degree from that country, and then your life will be better. And then obviously you'll have a better quality of life. Okay. So that is why I suggest, uh, I recommend people to go to United States, Canada, Australia. That's why it's worth it. And uh, because of the drawbacks, the politics, the corruption, the, the superstition, the, the narrow mindedness that is there in India, uh, you know, that's why I choose not to be in India. Okay. I'm not saying India is bad. I'm not saying Indians are bad. It's just that me being an Indian, okay, I, I find it very challenging to adjust to that, uh, uh, to that environment. There's so many things. It's so overcrowded. There's so much of competition. There's so much of pollution. There's, I mean, you know, anybody can just say that, oh, this guy, uh, you know, spoke to this girl and then you get this model policing. And here in Thailand, nobody bothers me. Nobody interferes in my business. I can do whatever the fuck I want, you know, go to a prostitute, go to a, uh, have a girlfriend. I, I can stay with my girlfriend even without marrying her, which I doubt you can do it in India. So this is just what I think. Up to you. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, you know, maybe if I'm wrong, you can tell me in the comment section below. So anyway, uh, this is why I feel 
it's better to get out of India because there are a lot more opportunities, a lot more forward thinking and, you know, a lot more laws and, you know, a structure in place than that is there in India. India, there are a lot more complications. So this is just my view being an Indian passport holder. Let me know what you think. Love to hear from you. So this is all from LiveMysterio.com. It's LiveMysterio and Personal Branding. Also keep in mind, like the video, give it a thumbs up. Didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. And uh, if you beg to differ, please put down your comments in the comment section below. So this is me saying goodbye for now. Take care.